Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany, how are you? Today we are going to be doing, I guess, a start or the beginning of the series, which is going to be my yarn around the world. We will be going to different yarn stores and different areas and kind of seeing how they are, showing you guys how they look like, my reviews of them, what they offer, just everything and anything in between and they'll also kind of be vlogs so I'll be showing you what I do in those areas and so hopefully this can entice me to go travel more because I need to travel more is the answer I know I've complained about it so many times on this channel and everywhere on social media that I want to travel so much so maybe we can do like a Europe tour where I go yarn around the world um, but currently we're just on the west coast so if any of you guys are looking to come here to North America I have some yarn reviews. Today I'm wearing my champagne cardigan. It is just it's a little wrinkly I will say. Uh, oh and I gotta fix this hole. It's such a big hole. Oh my gosh. Okay we gotta fix that. Uh, by Petite Knit. Uh, I did it in the Simply Wool Worsted from Knit Picks and just one strand of mohair. Yeah, so I just wanna say thank you, Ana Luisa, for gifting me some of the items that I'm wearing in this video. If you guys don't already know, I love Ana Luisa. Ana Luisa is a great jewelry company. They use renewable materials. They're carbon neutral, which is insane. And they also strive to have good working uh, environment. So how could I not support them? I live for jewelry, so. Uh, literally like all my other jewelry is also Ana Luisa so so I'm currently wearing these beautiful earrings they are the Helen I love the look of interlocking chains I'm also wearing the Alyssa I thought it would just work so beautifully with the Helen just as a nice little set just to pair it off in the end I'm wearing this interlocking one that has some cubic zirconium it is the Luray and I just think if you can see just the set together, they're all interlocking. I just think it's the cutest set ever. They're low-key doing a lot of last chance pieces on their site, so definitely go get them before it's too late because I think they're gonna be gone forever. So I actually have a code for you guys. If you use Tiffany Lou 10 um, at checkout, you can get 10% off your purchase, which is so cool. So definitely go check it out in the description. Yeah, and so let's get on with the video. Okay, so I went to Kelowna. It's about a four and a half hour drive from Vancouver not fun but i think it's a really nice place to go if you just want a really nice summer vacation thankfully they had some yarn stores um there's actually two there that i visited and that i could find the first one was art of yarn and the second one was Kelowna yarn and needlecraft they're both really cute little places um i've actually ordered from art of yarn that's where i got all of my mohair for my novice cardigan the green version i'm pretty sure they have a bunch still in stock both websites you can order online if you're not in the area you could also get a lot of their stuff these videos i might also include like what I bought that isn't knitting related so these are kind of just like trips as well like kind of capsules of like my trips to these different places I think it's fun to just show you guys the other stuff that I did there I'm extremely bad at vlogging, but today is, I guess, the first day of Kelowna. I am doing it solo. My boyfriend has to go in uh, for a shadowing. Um, so I have free time to be roaming around the city. Um, but today I will be checking out the two yarn stores. The 
first place I went to was Culinary Yarn and Needlecraft. The place is quite small. Right away when you walk in, all you see is just hanks and skeins. They're in these like nice little bookcases that I wish, I really wanna get some bookcases to like hold up all my yarn. Things are kind of scattered, so I did find that it was kind of hard to find stuff, but they had some Sunnis garn. They had some, they had maybe like one or two Noro, and I was low key looking at the needle section too because they had like Knit Pro and Chiago, and I've been looking for some needles, but I'm dead set on my C knits. So hopefully one day I can buy them. Yeah, I was obviously naturally gravitated towards the Sunnisgar, and I just kind of wanted to see what they had. Um, just because sometimes some places have like different sun of scarn and you can kind of see different colors and different variations. So I was kind of weirdly on the lookout for some Sisu or Perfect. Those are both sock yarns that sun of scarn does. I just wanted to make some nice socks. Maybe with the Perfect I wanted to make like a nice Sunday sock, but I can't get myself to buy two skeins. So <laughs> I ended up getting some discontinued colors from Sunnisgarn Sisu. They aren't they weren't on sale, but I just saw them and they're four beautiful like really bright colors that I thought I could knit with. This is the first color. It is 8526. Who even knows? I just saw this green and was just naturally gravitated towards it. I want to make socks with the colors that I bought, but since I bought four skeins, I feel like they would make like a really nice something. So I don't know. I feel like I should make socks because I keep telling myself I'm going to make socks. I will do that. I'll also actually showed some video of it in the sun and it looks beautiful. The next one I got was uh, another C Sisu. I like that these are also super wash because most of the sun is I have isn't super wash. This is in the color 6027. Like these were all in the same shelf and I just, oh my gosh, like tell me why I'm so in love with these bright colors. I don't know. We'll see if I like am confident enough to make it into socks. And then the last two I got were both <laughs> Sisu. This is just uh, 4622. It's just like this really kind of slightly more vibrant lilac, I would say, purple, purple leaf lilac color, but it's quite light. And then the last color I got was this beautiful pink. It is 3511. I just thought it was the cutest little ballerina color ever. It's 80, all of them are 80% wool, 20% nylon, so they would be great for socks or anything in between. Just holding them all together, I just, I just thought that the color palette was worth it, so we just, I will say the price for this Sisu was slightly more than what I could have gotten at like a local yarn store here, maybe like a dollar more, but I think it's nice to buy from local yarn stores and you're supporting them and it's kind of like a memory as I do with everything. And they also had like a really nice bin where they had all their sale items that you could scrummage through. That's like my favorite thing to do ever. It was nice and it was AC, so I try to stay there as long as possible, but uh, the lady in there was really friendly. And then I actually went to, to look at some thrift stores and some used bookstores. There's actually quite a bit in this one area that was pretty close to the yarn store. So I just kept walking and it was really close to get to um, because like literally I was eyeing a blazer that was $8. So like that wasn't gonna happen in 40 degree heat. But yeah, there was a lot of like nice little unique pieces I would say. I saw some um, crocheted stuff there. So there was a section for crafting. I actually almost bought some like zippers and buttons. I went to this used bookstore. Each book was like five bucks. I don't know, like I just feel like that's so hard to come by. I was looking around and I feel like I've been looking for lots of classic books or books that I see a lot of people reading. I'll like initially be like, okay, yeah, I gotta get this. And I kind of have like a wish list that I have.
there was actually also a quilting place, some consignment stores, and so I literally just like took five minutes to walk to everywhere. So I went in, it's so, it was like, such a cute place. I don't think I've been in like a specific quilting place. They just kind of boards of fabric that you can like ask to get cut. They have an online store as well, which you can order on. I think you can get it free shipping in Canada as well. They have some pre-cut pieces, like bigger and smaller ones. And so I wasn't gonna ask for any yards because I wasn't looking for anything, but they had these cute little fat squares, <laughs> I think is what they call them. Yeah, fat quarter size. I don't know. So I bought three, but apparently they were having a deal. If you buy four, you get one free. So like, uh, we had to do it. I have been really inspired. I don't know if you guys know Ho Yun from Squid Game. She's like a model anyway. I saw her wear a quilted jacket. And I think I've seen, I've seen Jenna Phipps also make a quilted jacket from a quilt that she already had. But I want to like make one from scratch. And I think that will be like my white whale for like sewing. Um, so I kind of picked out pieces that I thought would look nice as kind of like a quilt. So I want it to be kind of like diamonds of like fancy fabric and then the, just a basic white for everything else. I don't know what any of these colors are. So I'm so sorry. I don't even think, me don't thinks that they have any names. So this is the first color, it's just kind of a blue, turquoise-y kind of geometric pattern. I was trying to make it so I would buy everything that matched and I spent, I spent a good hour in that shop. I felt so bad. Next one I got was this really fun, it's super light. Just bear with me, I'm a very basic girl. It has like little specks and little dots. It's kind of a little bit galaxy i don't know i just thought them's two together would be kind of cute i also gravitated towards this guy this is a peach kind of painted almost not fully solid so you can see kind of like spots here and there which i thought was so pretty this is 46 centimeters by 56 centimeters so it's relatively like just like a little square like that i think i could make like a couple squares here and there um i got this one it is I think it's also kind of water colored or wax colored. You can see that there's kind of these flowers uh, in a different color and then the background is not, I don't, I don't know how they do it, but it looked really cool. And then I just got this floral piece that was kind of lavender, kind of same, I think, effect as this guy, but more whites, you got that greens and the, and the purples. This is just how they all look like. And I just think that they match really well together and I think I can make a cute little quilt out of it. Last but not least, I went to Art of Yarn. Art of Yarn has my heart. They, such a cute place. The people are so nice. Everyone is so nice. Everyone is so nice in yarn stores. They just like literally want to help you out, but I have no idea what I'm doing in there. Everyone's like, what are you making? And I'm like, I, I could be making anything at this point. I just wanted to look around. I know I was specifically looking for Retrosaria modem. Um, I had some people talking about it in the stream that they really liked it. It's 100% wool that you can use uh, specifically for socks. Uh, don't ask me why I'm specifically buying sock yarns, um, but we'll see. Maybe I'll end up using this for a bigger piece, but as of right now, I think it'll be a sock. I don't know. I don't know. She's a $16 sock. I don't know what I was thinking. Anyway, <laughs> I bought it. So this is so cute. I don't even know. I bought it in this really dark navy. I was contemplating this or like a really nice beige. I don't know if I should get the beige one, but um, it's Portuguese wool. Never tried Portuguese wool. I just think this would be so fun to try. Again, 100% ready for it. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty sure this is fingering weight. Yeah, 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 fingering weight. Very nice, very nice. I just think it's, it's, oh my gosh, honestly, 
Honestly, it's really nice. Um, I will show you another sock that I was looking at that I have like on a wish list. It's a very nice tweed. It's like a brown tweed with really nice speckles and I almost bought it, but it was $30. So I really had to hold myself back with that one, um, but maybe in the future if I'm a little bit more excited. It had so much sun is gone, uh, which, you know, is my kryptonite as always. Um, they also had La Bouche, La, La Biche La Bouche or something. Sorry, I have no idea. My French is terrible. They had hand spun yarn. I, oh, I wanted everything, but we could not afford. They had knitting for all of out, but they only had like one or two, so I would have had to ask for help. Um, they also had the cashmere. Has anyone seen the knitting for all of cashmere? It's like in the most smallest, skein of yarn i was so surprised it made me not want to buy it because it was so small but if it's worth it i'll do it <laughs> um and so i was looking around not thinking anything of anything and we found Issager. i was shook when i saw it i like i like dropped to the ground almost i was like okay we have to buy it because i have never been into a yarn store that had Issager, and i know that i said that you can buy Issager on their website and get it cheaper but i was like you know what i can get this now and might as well support local and get something nice and again memory so i spent a good i spent a good moment in there just looking at what to buy from Issager. i didn't want to go to ham. I initially gravitated towards this one probably because it's like a little different than their neutrals. I don't know why I didn't want to just get like a black or like a white or a gray. I just was looking for something, something that would have meant maybe like a little bit more. So this guy I naturally gravitated towards. It was like the first color I saw. It is Alpaca One. Oh my gosh, are you seeing this? Are you seeing this in my hands? Um, I loved the look of it. If you guys can see, it's not just a solid tone. It has just all these different colors to it. I just thought it would look amazing in something. I'm pretty sure this is a lace weight. The color is in sky. Um, it is 100% alpaca and 50 grams comes with 400 meters which is insane so this is for sure lace weight i'm gonna have to mix it with something but like i could technically use like two fingering weights with this guy and i could come up with something really really nice and i just think it would be perf i can't wait to swatch um if you guys see in some of the clips i actually was so close to buying a mohair for this one i saw this really nice like it was like a peach coral but so light and fluffy i thought it would have looked perfect with this but i actually do have some leftover mohair of the brown so i don't know maybe we'll do that one and i like low-key can't wait to buy more of this you're a dangerous specimen is all i will say it is super soft i have zero regrets i i think i like told myself i was like okay they only have three types of issues yarn in the store so i was like okay let me buy one of each and I'll be happy. They had the alpaca one, Highland wool, and you guessed it, mohair. Looked at all their Highland wool, and I, again, gravitated to the really odd color that was like really fancy and had lots of color and like quite a bit of variation. It wasn't very solid, so I got this one. It is also in sky, which is funny because it looks absolutely nothing like it. So um, this is 100% wool. I just thought, like if you guys can see that in the camera like there's blues purples greens just everything is amazing but as you can see they both look different like they're both completely different uh, but they're the same color so i think the knitting gods just spoke to me and knew that i really wanted it i would say that this one is slightly more like coarse, maybe not as soft, maybe a little, like maybe a little bit rougher than a normal fingering weight yarn if you're looking into this. But I will say that this is probably, this is, okay, yeah, so this is 50 grams. It's 275 meters, so it's thinner than a fingering weight, but thicker than a lace weight ever so slightly. So I don't know. I don't know what we're going to make with this. But I ended up buying the Silk Mohair it's in color 41. I just thought these matched really nice together and I thought I could do something with it. If not, I'm fine with doing something just by yourself because holy schmoly, holy schmoly, this is, this is the softest thing I have ever 
felt in my life. I need, I just need a couple more like mohairs and I feel like I could do like a mohair comparison video of like all the mohairs I've ever tried. But this guy is 75% mohair, kid silk mohair, 25% silk. It is just your basic mohair. I've never really seen a mohair that's in a ball like this. They're usually wound it up different in different places, but we enjoy it nonetheless. I just thought it was a nice kind of smoky, smoky blue. Um, not necessarily like your true, true blues. Um, and you know, it's just so good. It's just everything I've ever wanted. Again, she's $20, so it does really hurt me buying it. So I really do have to make something beautiful with it or else I will cry. Or this guy will just be like sitting just in a bucket like that, just enjoying life, just being here with me as my companion. The answer is yes. <laughs> Looking at my bag, that is all the things I bought. Um, nothing too crazy. I was only there for a couple days. Uh, we actually also drove down to Penticton. We went on the Lazy River and it was so nice. Just so cool and so peaceful. Yeah, I really enjoyed my stay there and had like an amazing time. Yeah, so if you're ever in the area, I definitely suggest going to those yarn places and checking it out because they're so cute and adorable. So I'll just be adding a bunch of clips at the end of this video, just if you want to see kind of more vlogging. Um, again, thank you, Anna Luisa, for gifting me these items. Definitely go check it out. Now, my discount code is in the description, TiffanyLu10. Hopefully this will be first of many yarn around the world. I still have my San Francisco vlog and my Tofino vlog that still need to go up. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys can catch me on Twitch, I'm on Patreon, I'm on Instagram, we post on YouTube. Um, and yeah, I hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Bye